Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up. I hope you guys love this video that I'm offering up today. It's going to be quite a long video. Usually my videos are about new products I put into the shop. Very rarely do I get time to craft. So stay tuned, watch this video. I hope you guys like to see exactly what I created um, for my daughter, Abby. This video is for my daughter, Abby, and I figured I'd share it with you guys as well so you guys can see what I have been working on. I rarely get the moment to not only craft, but to share with you guys when I do and I couldn't really share this video earlier because this is a surprise for my daughter for Christmas um, so you guys can follow along with me kind of thing and and um, and see what I've done this was a pleasure to create my daughter Abby hey Abby loves books just as much as I do we are book lovers here in our family and um, she loves anything kings queens fairies, fae, whimsical. She's a, She loves all kinds of books and she loves vintage just as much as I do. And it's something that's very well ingrained in our household and family. So I wanted to surprise her. I've never created a book for her. And I thought, well, let me see what I can create. So I came across um, this card case like playing card case, like where you put playing cards and stuff in. And I thought, geez, maybe I can cut this thing in half and see if I can make a, a tiny book out of it. So that's exactly what I did. I cut the thing in half and, and it came to two pieces like this. I haven't done a Joker book yet. My goal is to create this Joker book as well. Um, I ran out of time. It was going to be King, Queen, and Joker, which that's fine. I think King and Queen is great. I can create the Joker book for me because those who know me, I love Joker cards and I collect them. So I figured, well, I guess I can do a, um, a video um, showing and you guys follow along as I'm creating the Joker book to show you how I learned how to do this. Because the King book it was my beginner book. I've made a lot of errors. And the Queen book, she turned out amazing because of the errors of the, of the King book. But they all turn out great. But I learned what not to do. And maybe I can share that with you guys. But um, this video is for my daughter. So I'm going to dedicate this video just to the flip through of the books I have created for her. And I want her to know um, what I did and why I chose certain pages and certain things for the book for her. And there's some, some surprises in here for her. And at the end of the Queen book, I have a letter from mom to daughter. So I want to do that. Another video, another day tutorial on how I did this book um, for her. All right, let's jump into the King. I did these corners. Um, I couldn't find smaller ones. So I just kind of went with what they had. And it turned out not so bad. I mean, I know they're kind of rather large. But for this error, it just kind of brought in some nice hardware looking metal pieces to make it look like it was meant to be kind of thing. I wish I could have found smaller pieces. Comment down below if you know of any place I can get smaller pieces. Oh geez, look, I still got some ink on me everywhere. I just finished, guys. I did a hitch post. I learned a lot about a hitch post and how to do it. And um, so the corner pieces, I couldn't find this rustic gold. So I had to use this acrylic paint and I kind of had to brush onto these these corner pieces, that rustic look. They just had the weirdest colors and um, I wanted to just flow with the book kind of thing. So I kept the old vintage playing card and I wanted to do a king of heart and a queen of heart because, you know, I love kings and loves queens and so does she. And hearts, I don't know, seem to be lovely, right? <laughs> I didn't want to do diamonds or anything else and they, they end up being a perfect set, I think. So I did the hitch post with the elastic to keep it closed. Otherwise it just flies right open. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to be able to close. And uh, again, I do have ink all over me. Um, I took this um, Tim Holtz ink and I inked all the pages. I ripped all the pages by hand to give it a ripped look. And I took this ink and inked the corner, the edges of it to give it um, a burnt rustic look. All right, guys, I'm going to flip through fast. I'm going to spend little time on describing everything. I just want her to have the details of knowing that what I put in here. I put in all vintage books. So 99% of this book is vintage pages of books I love. My book house has amazing 
old pages. This is um, from, um, I think, the 80s, but this one's the 1920s. I just ripped them up. I didn't care. I wanted to make sure everything in the King book was King. Um, and so that's what I did. And I'm going to show you. You guys can kind of read for yourself. I'm not going to explain every detail on every page, but give you an idea why I chose the pages. So these um, card booklets have these gold seals that say Congress playing cards. And I kept them. And I put the foil of the Congress cards on the corner. In this book, you're going to find a ton of vintage postcards and a ton of vintage stamps. And I'm going to get a little closer and go slow. So vintage postcards, stamps, and old first date of issue uh, envelopes. So you'll see as I flip through here. Again, I didn't put these pieces on here. These are old pieces. Um, it just went really well, I think, with this. little wax seal on an envelope. Yeah. All the music pages in here, too are of sailors and um, adventures. I didn't go with anything other than what goes with the theme. There's the new stuff, washi tape. I just love the stars and stuff. So I'm just going to flip through here. You can see the old pages, the middle inside signature. Put old stamps on pages. Oh, this is cute. I did a little pocket with one of the old pages, and it was a definition card of brave in French, and then explains clever, skillful, good, brave. And I put one of the Congress card foils at the top. And there's room for her to put whatever she wants, but I just wanted to show, look at the old card, the theme of the medieval kings, queens. There's the old stamps. Isn't that cool? No digital prints in here. This is all old. Again, see how I did the corners of the pages? I don't know if you guys can see the burnt old book. Because some of the pages were kind of white. And I, I wanted it to go with um, the way it goes. Like this is a new card. But I loved what it said. Today I am brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage. At the end of this book is a surprise for her. I'll show you guys. Again, the, even the songs and the lyrics are from of that time. I just think it's so cute. Oh, this is so much fun. The other side of that envelope, which is cool, I created this little pocket. And I kind of aged the sides of it. And inside, I created this little tiny book. It's a playing card I put in half. And I tied in a signature. I hope I'm not upside down on this one. I'm not. I'm good. And I put in just the, some pages. This here is about a king, crowning a king lord. Old envelope with a stamp. Here's the other side of that envelope. It turned out really cool. This is one of the stamps on one of the envelopes. It has like this inky king look. It was really cool. To reinforce it, I put a paper of a king at his table on the other side. As you can see. Turned out cute, didn't it? So we just got like a little mini book that goes in there. Paper clip and with a little king castle card. Other side of old envelope. On this side of the envelope, I have a half of a piece of a postcard. The other half of that postcard is in the queen book, which I'll show you later. So this is a castle. You can see the back side of a postcard. And when you put the two pages together, you get a complete postcard, almost like best friends uh, necklaces, except the king and queen is a connection with that card. It sounds kind of cheesy, but I just thought I know the secret. Now you guys do why I did it. Here's a king card, little tiny king card. I put on the back of a paper and one of those Congress foils on top. Card, music pages, pages, some really cool old king stamps. Let me get through here. More old stamps and old pages. This was a flip side. I put a, pa um, a piece of paper on the end of an envelope. And the other side was an old stamp. Here's a really old king stamp. I put on, a pa on the other side of that page. Inside is the surprise for my daughter is a Barnes & Noble gift card. She can go get some more books. <laughs> oh, it's a good obsession. I'm glad to give it to her. This is an old playing card. I kind of cut it a little odd to give it reinforcement on that page. It's at the end. And that's an old map. And then an old king page. And there's my king book. Well, 
my daughter's king book. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> and there's the king book. He's done. Queen, she is much bigger. I'm going to try to get through her faster. But she's my live and learn book. Her binding had torn when I started her book. She was this beautiful red velvet. I got the big blue velvet. I wanted the red velvet to match, but um, the binding, live and learn, busted. So I had to reinforce the binding. I had taken the foil from the the books, um, the actual playing card case, and reinforced for the, this, this here so it would match the other gold going on. And then at Michael's, I had found this foil, like gold foil stuff. So I Maj Paj just gold um, after I reinforced the spine um, with that. And it almost looks like a brick of gold, doesn't it? Um, and it makes her look more rich and royal. So that's the queen playing card I chose. And to keep her rich look, I did the back of a playing card that it's got this beautiful gold. It's just gorgeous. She just, she just turned out really pretty. I was, I had fun with her. I had so much queen stamps and um, queen um, of England who just passed um, and uh, Princess Diana. And I had a lot of beautiful old stamps. So I put them in here in the queenly manner and to give tribute to them in the midst of this. But look her inside and that beautiful. So I started off with a vintage postcard. This is one side. I reinforced it so it wouldn't bust as the pages turn. But I don't know if you guys can see the peacock at the bottom and the castle. I just, it was very queenly. I just had to put her in there. Here's the inside. And I took um, one of the old queen stamps and I put it right on there. I just thought it went well. Of course, here we go. We're going to off to the queen and see her beautiful pages. I put an old stamp. I had a queen playing card. Queen page, put another stamp as a turning page. Of course, I inked the pages to make them look really old and aged. Here's an old castle card. I put uh, another one of those stamps in there from Christy Brittleston. She had, when I ever buy from her shop, she always puts a wax seal. Hey, Christy, if you're watching, thank you for the wax seals on her packages. And I just put it right on a envelope page inside there. And I just thought it looked really good with that page as you turned it to a music page. Some old playing, uh, old um, card. Queen of our, um, Joan of Arc, I put her in there. I know she's not a queen, but I just love it. And one of those Congress foil tabs are <laughs> behind her. I just kind of, just kind of layered it. I don't know, I just kind of went with it, guys. So this is my third book I've ever created. So I'm pretty happy with what I did. You guys see in my first book um, and my second book, I've done videos in the past. Rarely do I have time though, but look at that cute bookmarker. It's like a little girl um, swinging. And then here is her outside tab. So when the book is closed, you still have this cute little marker. Um, but I tucked it in for the sake of the book and pages. This comes out and she can put that marker anywhere she wants to. It's the other side of the bookmarker. Layered stamps and put little choose happiness page in there. Made this cute little booklet of Princess Diana. It's an old first date of issue stamp from, uh, looks like it says 83 or something. And I just kind of folded it on a page. It's the original stamp and I, just, I don't even know if it was worth anything. It wasn't even used stamp. I just kind of put it on a page and put it in that book. It's just, I figured it went really well. Here's the other side of that postcard. And printed on, it says printed in England. And I was going to put a stamp there. And I was like, nah, for this kind of book, I think it's cute. There's the other side of that postcard. The other side was a castle, remember? First date of issue um, um, envelope. And it had cute stamps. See there? This looks like 1964 page. I just put it in there. Had some extra stamps, so I stamped, put a lot of the queen stamps in there, and then a flower for her, um, since she just passed. Usually I'm not um, a big about, you know, England and all that, but it just went really well with this book. And I also put the tribute, there's one of her never used stamped, who knows what it's worth today. But it, it's, I just put it in the book, in that page. That's her wedding anniversary, it's a silver anniversary, it was 1974 stamp. I just put it in there. I want my daughter to have the best of the best. Here's another stamp. 
It's just, just elegant. It's just a very queenly, elegant book. A lot of old pages to go with the theme. I'm going to sink through here really fast. I put another surprise at the end as well as a letter to her. And there's the other side of that envelope. It's so cute. Maps. Here's in one of those envelopes. Here's the other side of that postcard I was telling you about. Of the castle that the king had. And this is the other side of that castle. When you put the two pieces together, they match. I just thought that was their joined together. I don't know. It sounds cheesy, but <laughs> that's what happens when you get lost in the book you're creating. You just kind of get lost with each page and stories was a playing card. I kind of just went with it and it almost made its own thing. So I've made, I layered some stamps and music page for that page. Old stamp. This here is the Serenity Prayer. I had created this. Um, this is I have a whole huge picture frame of this that I had created. It's a cruel kit where you use wool cruel, and it's almost like it's not cross stitching, but it's cruel. Sounds that word sounds terrible, <laughs> but it's a cruel kit, um, but in wool. And I have this framed on my wall, and it, this is the page that came with it um, for the kit, and I just kind of put it in there. So I like the fact that not only do I have this on my wall created, but it's also in a book in my daughter's house. But those who don't know what the serenity prayer is, it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change those things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I pray that every day. I want to know. I want to do the right thing, right? I want to put everything in his hands and not mine. This is from Kristen Rock Paper Treasure. She's a friend of mine. She gave me one of those little cigarette cards. I just kind of threw it in there. Well, map pages. And then here's the other surprise. This book also has a Barnes & Noble gift card. And I love this one because she loves dogs. And this is totally my daughter. It says, happiness is warm sweaters and a good book. Uh, her and I could both agree on that one, right? Old stamp. Two stamps, actually, to cover the page of the queen on the other side. And that's the end. And then at the very end, I'm going to put a button here and a button there and string some string to close it. But it is a letter to my daughter, and I kept it short and sweet, that says, My dearest daughter, 2022, may the adventure never end. I hope our adventures just go and go, and she explores the world, enjoys people, feel love, feel loss, to live life to the fullest, to be a giver, and to allow people to love you. So I'm Abby watching. I wish you a Merry Merry Christmas and those who are watching as well. And I hope you love the beautiful books I created you. Um, I took a lot of, lot of thought and love and I thought of you the entire time. And my uh, dream for you is to, to live life, to enjoy the adventure and may it never end. I hope you all have a great Christmas and a blessed new year. And may we share kindness and love throughout, guys. Thank you for taking time to watch us. I appreciate it. Um, I normally don't get the time to do this. So I wish I can give you all a big hug, including my daughter. Um, and uh, wish you guys all well. Have a good evening.